I've been at Akili Dada for the last nine years. My journey at Akili Dada has been incredibly transformative. I started out as a communications officer and I was immediately masked into the lives of, of the girls and young women that we serve, just learning about the challenges that they have to overcome in order to live out their dreams and even learning about how they're transforming their communities through the leadership development that they've received at Akili Dada. And that really opened up my world and changed my perspectives about just the lived experiences of young women and girls in this continent, in our country, and really made me a passionate advocate to ensure that they are able to live out their rights. And so it's been uh, truly inspiring. It's been truly transformative. And even for myself, I've also been able to grow just as a leader and appreciating the, the importance of having empathy and understanding the experiences of the people that you are leading or the people that you are working with in order to create change. And so it's been just a rewarding experience. The best part of my job is seeing resource advocacy come to fruition. And basically what that means is that I get to convince individuals, corporates, funders to support the work. And the other best part about my job is then being able to channel these resources to young women and girls who are leading in their communities, who are creating change in their, in their communities, and then seeing the power of what they're able to do with having access to that resource. And for me, that's extremely fulfilling because it means that we are actually living out the change that we want to see in the world um, today by being that bridge between those who have the resources and the young women and girls who are leading in their communities. Akili Dada has been extremely impactful in my own life and it's from the sense of building my own leadership journey. As mentioned before, I started off as a communications officer and really all I was doing at that time was packaging the stories of the young men and girls that we serve. But in the process of being part of this community, I've gotten my leadership skills built, I've learned empathy, my worldview has been expanded, uh, being a young woman who was raised in Nairobi with certain privileges and having to go back to communities and engage with young women who have to surmount harmful cultural barriers, have to surmount poverty, have to surmount just significant challenges to effectively transform their communities has been something that has really impacted me. And so I've learned the importance of opening up doors when I have access to opportunities or to spaces that others don't have. I am most thankful uh, for the Akili Dada Sisterhood. And let me just describe the sisterhood to you. It's a community of young women and girls who are powerful, who are inspiring, uh, who are role models that the girls and young women that will come after can look up to. I'm grateful that every day I come to work, I get to hear a story or meet a young woman who is taking a challenge in her community and saying, you know what, I have the solution and this is how I can go about it. And all I need from you is, is support. And for me, that's really close to my heart right now because I do have a young daughter and I'm excited that she's gonna grow up in a world where she can see different women leading in different spaces, challenging different stereotypes and to know that she can actually live out her dreams and her aspirations and be part of a movement where she has a supportive system, a supportive environment that can help her along that journey. Um, and I don't take that for granted because I know there are many young women out there, young girls out there who don't have those role models. And so for me, just being part of the Akili Dada Sisterhood and being part of this movement that is daily and continuously making sure that the young men and girls that come after us have role models that they can really look up to, for me is something that I'm especially appreciative of. My call to action is simple. Invest, invest, invest. In order for us to be able to accomplish this work, in order for us to be able to, in, to support young women and girls uh, leading in their communities, we need monetary resources, we need partnerships, we need people who can amplify the stories and, and the voices, who can open up doors for these young women and girls. And so for me, my call to action is invest, 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 join this movement and be part of making history and making the world a better place.